Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And desperation is setting in for Jack Smith and the prosecution, the DOJ, and of course, the Biden regime as they continue to try to leak uh, well crafted things to the mainstream media so they can run with it. And of course, smear Trump with it as much as they can uh, before this next hearing that they are about to come up on, because this hearing is quite an important hearing because this is a hearing that is scrutinizing whether or not President Trump has immunity. Uh, presidential immunity, that is, uh, in this case. And right now, Jack Smith is trying to argue against it. And what he's doing, he's selectively using uh, things that they have had interviews with people around Trump and leaking it to the media. You notice how they're allowed to always leak to the media every single time when everything's negative against Trump, right? And anytime Trump tries to talk about anything that's happening to him prosecutional-wise, they always try to gag him and say that he's not allowed to defend himself, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is a rigged game that we are seeing right now play out before us. And the desperation on these people is because the Supreme Court has smacked the immunity case back down to lower court saying, no, you need to go to the proper channels before we hear it. And Jack Smith was trying to leapfrog that because he was trying to prosecute Trump. He was trying to go ahead and get this trial started before the election. And right now, the timetable is showing that it will not happen before the election. And that's what he was hoping for, doing the bidding of Joe Biden. So before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button if you're new here. Thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 1,500 likes. And if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can smash that join button become a member of the channel. You can smash that super thanks as well if you want to show appreciation to the channel. And I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers who have come aboard to the 225,000 members or channel uh, subscribers uh, here at Let's Be Frank. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. So let's go ahead and dive into what we have here today coming to us from the Gateway Pundit. And this is, of course, a leak, a new hit piece on Dan Savino meeting with Jack Smith in January 6th case drops ahead of the Trump pitch to appeals court on the immunity, immunity argument. And this is what I just mentioned uh, on the intro here, right? So what we have here, of course, is this is from ABC News here. It says many of the exclusive details come out of the questioning of Trump's former deputy chief of staff, Dan Shavino, who first stated or started working Trump as a teenager three decades ago and is now a paid senior advisor to Trump's re-election campaign. Savino wouldn't speak with the White or uh, with the House Select Committee that conducted its own probe related to January 6th. But after a judge overruled claims of executive privilege last year, he did speak with Smith's team. And key portions of what he said were described to ABC News. Sources said Savino told Smith's investigators that. As the violence began to escalate that day, Trump was not was was just not interested in doing more to stop it. Sources also said Trump's uh, aide Nick Luna uh, told federal investigators that when Trump was informed that then Vice President Mike Pence had to be rushed to a secure location, Trump responded with a "So what?" Which sources said Luna saw as an unexpected unwillingness uh, by Trump to let potential harm come to a longtime loyalist. Sources. Also, when speaking with Smith's team, Savino recalled telling Trump in a phone call that night of January 6th, this is your legacy here, and there's smoke coming out of the Capitol. Savino hoped that that would finally help facilitate a peaceful transfer of power, sources said. And of course, the latest hit piece leaked to ABC News comes just two days before the order arguments. See, here's the problem with this, right? Here's this leaked stuff, right? They just taking it out of context of whatever they want to talk about. Here's the thing. We have video of Trump when things started to escalate. He came out, put a video out saying, yo, everybody go home. Everyone head home. I thank you. You guys are amazing patriots. Uh, go home. It's time to go home. And what did the big tech do? They scrubbed it. They banned them. They they took it down on all platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of these major platforms were taking it off. Why? Because they knew that Trump had told these people to go home. And prior to even that, he says, go down there and peacefully protest, peacefully protest, right? And so we have all of this evidence showing the opposite, right? The ordering the National Guard, while D.C. Mayor Bowser declined, Nancy Pelosi declined the use of the National Guard leading up to the January 6th uh, speeches and protests that later commenced. So we have all of this evidence. So what we have is here are snapshots of 
things that were said behind the scenes without the full context being put out there. And of course, ABC runs with this as a hit piece against Donald Trump, uh, trying to rewrite the history of January 6th. Many of us saw what happened that day. We were there watching and seeing how everything played out. We have all the evidence of Trump uh, telling people to go home, Trump telling them to peacefully protest and all of these things. And here what we have, of course, is the mainstream media doing the bidding of the FBI, the CIA, and of course, the special counsel here by leaking this and trying to frame it in a context of, well, to say, hey, look, Trump was responsible for this insurrection, which they continue to call it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media. All linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.